Sandy Monroe is gonna be here to tell us what's so special about these LFP batteries that all the kids are talking about. The ones that Tesla has just started importing from their Shanghai factory. Are they better? Are they worse? Well, we're gonna find out right now. Ooh, welcome to E4 Electric. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss Sandy's future appearances on this channel as well as our weekly electric car news. All right, so we're gonna do this video in two parts. The second one is going to be about comparing the LFP batteries to 4680s and I will upload that video next week. Now, before I bring in Sandy, of course, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by the Volkswagen ID4 EV, which I am now a proud owner of. I love the ID light, a feature exclusive to Volkswagen. It can give you visual cues, letting you know when you need to make a turn without disturbing your conversation or pausing your music. See if you love the ID4 as much as I do by exploring the link in the description of this video. All right, Sandy, welcome back to the channel. Well, oh, thank you so much. It's always nice to be back here, Alex. Uh, All right. Well, we, uh, we are talking about, I want to talk about Tesla batteries this time. I know we've talked about it in the past, but I want to talk about something that kind of snuck up on everybody, I think, this year. I'm talking about the LFP batteries. Now, Tesla's been making them in China for a while, but a few of them made it to here, to the United States. So I wanted to get your opinion and tell us what the LFP batteries are because people have gone crazy over them. Are they better than what Tesla's been making with Panasonic uh, here in Nevada? And are they close to the 4680s? Tell us, tell us. Tell us, tell us. Okay, so no, no, yes, no. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's do those one at a time. First off, uh, the LFP battery is just a different chemistry, a different way of making the batteries. Uh, they're very popular amongst uh, the Chinese and, uh, and in buses and things like that. They're a little heavier than, uh, than the other batteries and the, the uh, lithium-ion batteries that we're uh, normally associating with how we do, uh, uh, how the... 2170s or the 4680s, anything that's pouch that comes from any of the other uh, Korean or Chinese uh, companies. But, um, but they are different in that um, they last longer um, and they don't have as much charge and you don't get enough oomph or as much oomph out of them. So if you want, um, you want that, uh, that power, um, then then uh, LFP batteries uh, um, are probably not going to be your first choice. The, uh, the, 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 the length of time that they last is longer as a rule, but right now we're getting a million miles out of, a, um, out of uh, the 20, uh, 2170s or, or 4680s. Uh, well, we're guessing at 4680s and the pouches and whatnot. Everybody's getting a long life out of them. So it's hard to say how much more life you get out of um, the uh, LFP batteries. Um, some people like them because they don't catch on fire as much. Um, if I was waiting for a car and I was in a hurry and Tesla's offering them right now, and I, if you can get a discount, because they don't cost as much to make, uh, then uh, I'd take those uh, in a heartbeat. There's nothing wrong with them, uh, especially if I'm not a race car driver. If I, uh, if I want all of the dramatic um, impact that I get out of the standard uh, 2170s or 4680s, then uh, I'd hold off and wait, uh, wait until the batteries uh, show up. The, the uh, uh, you know, the cylindrical batteries or the pouch batteries. So, so but uh, in China, they don't like to go too fast anyway. And China, it's big on, um, on LFP, huge actually. So can you make a, a, a Model S Plaid with LFP batteries or that's out of the question right now? You won't make a Plaid, you can make an S, uh, but you're, you would be foolish to go to um, LFP batteries um, for, the, uh, for the Plaid. It's, uh, they're, not the, uh, they're not the right, it's not the right, uh, it's like what kind of, oct uh, how, how high of an octane do you want in your gasoline? If you're running regular, that's fine for your, um, you know, your little uh, Chevy or whatever. But if you're uh, running a Dart or uh, or a Challenger or a Charger or something, and you've got a 
big engine, you're, you're going to want premium gas. You want to have that thing with as much oomph as you can possibly get out of it. And the higher the octane, the more you're going to get. It's the same thing with, with LFP versus uh, lithium ion. So, I love that analogy. All right. Uh, and now also you can technically charge those LFP batteries up to 100% without damaging them. Um, right. Unlike the other ones. Uh, so essentially, they give you a little bit less range technically, but because if you add that 10% back, they can actually give you longer range. Uh, why is that? Uh, well, if you're over time, yeah. But you can, you, can, you can take your standard batteries and charge them up 100%. Just takes a long time. With LFP, it's a shorter period of time to, to bring them up to full charge. Um, you can do that faster, but... Uh, and when you're looking at time to go from, if you're doing the speed limit and whatnot, so let's make things equal here, then you, you'd get to your uh, destination, if it's a long destination, you'd get there probably faster, but if you, uh, and that's just based on charge time, but if you uh, wanted to go fast, uh, then uh, it's not the right battery for you. All right. And so why do you think uh, Tesla started making them in China, but not here in the United States? Is it a different process? I know you said it's yeah. cheaper. It makes sense to me if, to, to make them here at the, the Nevada factory as well. No, um, they uh, no. It, it wouldn't be you can't run those. Those two battery packs don't run down the same lines. So they, you would have to have a separate battery manufacturing facility. LFP is uh, being manufactured in China because two reasons. One, they like the safety issues with the um, LFP. That's what uh, the Chinese government likes the best. And two, um, they can use um, uh, uh, Qatar's uh, uh, formula and whatnot. It's one of their battery designs and chemistries. And it's, uh, it's locally sourced, and so that makes it easy easy and inexpensive and um, the Chinese people like it. So having them built in China and brought over here is no big wow. Uh, it's, um, it's no big difference as long as you understand this isn't going to be a rocket ship kind of battery. It's the difference between a, a V8 and a 4. That's kind of like what I'd like to think of it as. And uh, it, um, it works just as fine. Uh, for range and stuff like that, um, it's a little shorter range, and it, but you can charge it faster. So, er, everything's a trade-off. You know, everything, no matter what chemistry you've got, everything's a trade-off. So, if you're not a rocket ship kind of person, and um, and maybe you want to save a buck or two, or you want to get your car faster, I would go with LFP. There's nothing wrong with it. Works fine. <clears throat> Especially if you travel long distance, I'm assuming LFPs are better just because you'll supercharge faster and that's what matters the most. Yeah, it's, it's a decision that you make based on all the parameters. It's not like, oh, I have to have one of those round ones or I have to have a, one that's like a prismatic or something or I have to have LFP or any of the other chemistries. Like there's new chemistries that are coming down the road. So uh, there's a sulfur battery, lithium sulfur, that's coming down the road that's... Um, Sounds pretty interesting, and um, and actually, there's some uh, there's some new uh, new concoctions that are being put together because of the use of uh, graphene, and uh, those will make things uh, a lot more interesting shortly. Because then I can get fast charges. Uh, I can do I can do a lot of things. Graphene is kind of like uh, the new magic powder uh, for pretty much everything for plastics for well. Pretty much anything that uh, that you want to um, you want to uh, kind of hold together, you know, glues what, as well. Adhesive. What is the shape and shape and dimensions of the LFP batteries that Tesla uses? I believe they're well. I can tell you they're prismatic because we actually went down and uh, we went to um, um, one um, our new energy uh, is it's the acronym one is their 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 acronym is just one. And uh, I've seen them, touched them. I didn't lick them or anything like that. But, but there's, uh, they've already got them. They have one that we, they took apart and we were looking at it. And so they're a prismatic battery. <clears throat> they're a little bit taller than the, um, 
and the 2170s, um, they take up more space. Um, they've got a slightly different uh, controlling system. The uh, um, uh, B, uh, the, B, uh, the battery control module um, is, uh, is different. Um, what else? What but about the cooling everything system? fits together. It's all, the cooling is all the same. Everything's the same. Really? Same cooling it's system lower, even though different? Well, it's this cooling system. It's uh, the, the new base plate uh, cooling system that Tesla put into um, the 4680s. Um, so it has a cooling system from the bottom. It pulls the, wicks away heat from the bottom. And they're in four layers. There's four, four rows, similar to what you'd see in the normal um, Tesla battery. So, yeah, no big deal. It, they, uh, they, are, they fit just fine. All right, I'm going to stop right here because the conversation kind of went into the comparison between the LFP batteries and the 4680s, and I will air that next week. So don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Sandy's channel. I put a link to it in the description of this video. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged. Take it